My bad, <laughs> that's how I get prepared for these videos. <laughs> Anyways, let's go ahead and get started here. Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. My name is Frankie Blue and um, yep, we are back with another video. I was just, you know, sitting here, you know, trying to live my best life. And I figured why not let's, you know, hop on camera and let's do a makeup look. Let's get ready and uh, for no reason and do like a fun little story time. It's been a while since I've done a story time. I think I probably only did it once. So, so we're gonna do a, uh, a fun little makeup look and I'm gonna share with you guys a, a really hilarious, hilarious story time. And as you guys see from the title, yes, I'm gonna be talking about um, the time that uh, I, uh, my friend was interrupting me while I was trying to get laid. <laughs> Full disclosure, this may or may not be appropriate for kids. So if any parents are allowing your kids to watch my videos, just FYI, this may or may not be a very appropriate story for them to hear or see. Okay, it may, it, okay, I make it sound like if I'm gonna show like a full-blown porno, that's not <laughs> that's not how it's gonna happen. <laughs> I'm just gonna share with you guys the, uh, that fun story. I'm not gonna go into detail because again, I don't want YouTube to come at me. So <laughs> I'm gonna be as kid-friendly as I can. Um, but again, this may not be appropriate for kids. So there's that. And of course, any products that I use on my face or whatever are all gonna be found in the description box that's down here. So that way you guys can check them out and yeah. Before we go ahead and get started here, you guys, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button that's also right here and be part of the tribe fam. As well as make sure you guys hit that like and share button that's also gonna be found right here. Uh, so that way you guys can like and share my videos. So. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> so that way you guys can like and share my video so that way we can, you know, grow our little messies. And again, words of encouragement, it's okay to be a hot mess. At the end of the day, we're all human. We all make mistakes and we grow from them. So pretty much, um, this was when I was in high school. Um, at that time, I was going to this charter school um, because the school that I was going to prior before I got kicked out for being a bad kid um, and ended up going to another school. I had this friend, okay, I, um, well actually I still have her. We still talk from time to time, but oh my God, there's like something in my eye. Ah! Sorry, if you guys see that my eye looks crazy is because I feel like there's something in my eye and I just am like, I have this friend, okay, we're gonna change her name to Vicky Cristina Barcelona. Yep, I said that. That day, I believe it was on a Friday, I was telling her about how my boyfriend at the time, um, you know, had invited me out and whatnot. And she was telling me her boyfriend at the time um, had invited her out to the club, okay? To the club. Mind you, I think I was 19 or 20 years old and she was already 21, so she can get into the clubs fine. Um, so anyways, they were gonna go to like the straight up bicep clubs. Like, I have, I'm not gonna lie, I had so much fun in those, even though I don't know how to dance that kind of a music, like the corridos, the 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 bandas and stuff like that. That's like her gig. For me, like I can dance like cumbias, sonideros, you know, some, some, some bachata and salsa and stuff. When it comes to like straight up like narco corridos or like bandas and, you know, musica así tipo, tipo silanoense. Dang, my Spanish just came out. <laughs> when it comes to that kind of music, I cannot dance that music. That's just not my gig. So <laughs> throughout the day, I was like texting my boyfriend at the time. 
I'm not gonna lie to you, the, the guy that I was dating at that time was just my hair. Hold on, don't judge them. The guy that I was dating at the time, um, he was not really a, not really a good guy. I mean, now that I think about it, like he was a very insecure person and I'm gonna go in a little bit on the sentimental side right now real quick. He just kind of just criticized me for everything that I did, like the way that I, you know, I would talk and whatnot because I mean, let's face it, I have a very like feminine-ish voice, I, I wanna say, cause <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, there's times where I have like my deep voice moments. But he would like criticize me for like how the way that I talked. He always said that I need to talk like very, like more masculine and um, whatnot. And I needed to act more manly, like I'm a dude. I remember these exact words and it still, it still kind of messes with me sometimes where he would be like, you're a guy, you're like you're a man, you need to start acting like a man, you know? That kind of stayed with me. And even till this day, it still kind of messes with me, even though I'm very comfortable with myself, with my body, with, you know, my, you know, how the way that I talk and how the way that I act. But that, like from time to time it does you know come up and it just it's it kind of just messes with me at that time he wasn't you know comfortable with you know he hadn't come out is basically what i'm trying to say like i was just excusing that for the fact that okay you know what i can't say anything because again he he hadn't like you know he's not out and like you know give him some time like it's fine, you know? Nobody should be going through something like that, you know? Nobody should be told how they should be acting or how they should be talking or how they need to be um, just because of either their gender or, you know, um, the way that they they look or, you know, whatever. I, I strongly do believe that people have the right to be who they are themselves. You know, like even when we, you know, broke up, it like his words still stayed with me. You know, I need to start acting a little bit different. I need to start, you know, talking a little bit different. Maybe I should change, you know, the way that I dress a little bit more or, you know, start acting a little bit more masculine and all that stuff. And it, it's, it's hard, you know, and I'm not gonna lie. I mean, it was a real, like real bitch to you know overcome now i can say like you know what i was really stupid back in the day but you don't realize the things that you get yourself in you know when you're you know when you like somebody you know you kind of excuse the 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 that you know that craziness or that evilness or whatever you know at the end of the day, like you, nobody needs to go through that. Nobody needs to be with a very abusive person. You know, you should always know your worth. That was, that got really <laughs> emotional real quick. Um, anyways, let me get back to the story. So we were just kind of just going back and forth, just talking about, you know, how excited I am to spend time with him, to see him and all that stuff. He tells me that he wants me, he wants to bring me back home to his house, right? And I told him, I was like, okay. <laughs> I had agreed. I remember I had told my friend that yes, I was gonna go with her to the dance, to the club, sorry, not the dance. <laughs> so she got mad at me, but she was like, whatever. But either way, I still end up going with her only for a little bit. Um, but we'll get there. We'll get there. Don't worry. That night, I believe she comes and picks me up with her man. Was it her man? No, I think it was her friend. Her friend. Her friend was the one that pick, picked us up. And um, we ended up going to this really, like, <laughs> a mess of a club like literally a mess of a club the struggle is real anyways we went to this place called los cabos really shitty club. it's a really shitty club like it was disgusting like well it stinked once he once he came in and then 
they overpriced their oh my hair looks like a mess Ooh. and then the drinks are like super watered down like i understand that you know clubs do that like they water down their drinks and charge like literally a soul but this was like literally just flavored water and they were charging a hell of a lot of money but my friend liked going there i don't know why but that was like her spot that place and the 35 oh my god if you guys know the 35 the... wait does that even exist still my friend my friend was a mess a mess we were dancing and having you know more fun and whatnot but i kept getting texts by my boyfriend telling me like where am i at and you know why am i not answering his calls i remember specifically that i had actually forgotten forgot to tell him that i was going to go out with my friends and then i was going to meet him back in my house later on in the night so we can go back to his house um, so he was pretty upset with me. <laughs> he was just basically kind of hurt. Him and I were kind of just going back and forth over the phone. Um, because he was really pissed because I didn't tell him, um, that I was going to go out. And, um, in the end, I had told my friend that, hey, um, what's his face is going to pick me up right now? Cause he wants to hang out and all that stuff. And she's like, she, I, she knew that he got mad at me and I was like yeah he got mad she was like okay that's fine like you know just go let me know text me you know where you're at so I can make sure that you're fine and I was like yeah I will anyways I told him hey like stay for a little bit like come hang out you know with me and my friends like you know let's have a little bit of a good time before we leave he did not really want to because again he was like very i don't know what i'm doing <laughs> he did not really like want to like hang out with my friends because again he wasn't out and he didn't want people to know that he wasn't out and i kept telling him like it's fine like my friends know about us and you know they don't care like it's it's okay like come and hang out he didn't he didn't want to, of course. So, I remember she got really upset with me and, um, well, not with me. She got upset the fact that, you know, he didn't want to come hang out more um, and whatever. So, anyways, um, I ended up leaving with him. Sorry, I had to really, like, do my foundation real quick. Oh, my God, I look really white. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> All right, sorry, I had to really quickly, like, do my concealer and powder a little bit. Um quickly because that's just like literally like the boar fest so it's kind of pretty upset he didn't really talk to me a lot but i kept asking him like where are we going like what do you want to do I believe that he wanted to go watch a late night movie and i told him okay well let's go to the theater so we ended up going to the movies i think once we got to the movies and you know all that stuff he was like calm he was fine he wasn't like you know all angry and talking to me and not talking to me sorry and all this stuff so he was like all okay by the time the movie was over i kept telling him like okay are we going back to the house to his house and so i think we just drove around and just you know we're singing and just enjoying each other's company like i was really happy and we ended up grabbing like a um pizza on the way over there just so we can have like a little like late night dinner or late night whatever feast ish whatever i don't know whatever you want to call it first of all he tells me to wait in the car right he doesn't lo let me get off with him because he wants he wants to sneak me in into this house right again this plays out to the whole like he's not out yet so obviously I, he's not gonna bring me into the house and my you know crazy ass <clears throat> and introduced me to his family so he quickly goes inside uh to check if you know his family is gone and stuff so comes back and uh you know tells me that hey you know come on in my family's not there and i was like okay well cool um so we quickly go into his house and <laughs> immediately he drags me into his room which is really funny because his room is actually kind of next to his parents room so i was like 
Okay. So we go into his room and we start watching TV and, you know, um, eating pizza, just kind of like enjoying each other. So right after we eat, we're just, you know, cuddling, um, you know, and still, you know, watching TV. And he starts like fill it, filling all up on me. <laughs> Like, boo, I make me yours. <laughs> Next thing you know, just as how, you know, things started heating up, his family comes in. They they arrive back home. And I, my heart starts pounding because I'm like, holy shit. Like, what am I going to say? Like, they're just going to come in and they're going to see like this half naked dude that's like on top of his, on top of their son, like who's also half <laughs> naked. Like, what is going to happen? Thank God he gets up and goes out there. He's out there talking to his family. I'm like, I begin to start texting my friend, um, Vicky Cristina Barcelona, telling her like, dude, like his family is here. And like, I'm like afraid. And I'm, we're just texting back and forth. And I'm like letting her know what's going on. And she's just like, kind of just like laughing at me. Like he finally comes back into the room and he's like, well, you know what? <laughs> Let's just wait a little bit longer, you know, just wait a little bit longer. They're about to go to bed and stuff. And I was like, okay, so we're just watching movies, but I'm like texting with um, with Vicky Cristina Barcelona. And she starts telling me like what's going on with her stuff, with her and her man. So 45 minutes later, um, his family goes back to sleep and um, was like, okay, so what? Do I have to make the first move? Is he gonna make the first move? Like, what's the deal? But he was kind of like falling asleep a little bit, which, <laughs> I mean, then again, it's like two in the morning. He did tell me that he had to go to work at six in the morning. Um, so he was like falling asleep and I kind of just like nudge him a little bit. I'm just like, you know, just hit him with my elbow a little bit. Hold on, you guys, let me go ahead and put on liner first because I cannot talk and do liner at the same time. So let me be right back. All right, so I give him like a nudge, you know, with my elbow and he starts like, again, you know, putting his hands all over me. Sorry, I don't mean to be too TMI, but um, yeah, he starts, you know, filling up on me and whatnot. We start, you know, starting it off with, you know, some kissing and all this stuff. Then there's the, there's the moment of the undressing. Finally, like he starts, we start doing it, you know, we're like in it. I'm trying to be quiet and because I don't want, you know, his family to hear us, let alone his parents because he sleeps like next to his parents. His room is right next to his parents' room. My phone starts ringing. <sighs> At first it starts ringing like as a text message. Um. But obviously I don't reply because, you know, I'm over here, you know, getting it in with my, with my man, you know? And then it starts ringing again. This time it's a call and I'm just like, who the fuck is calling? I'm just, I, I again, I'm just ignoring it. Cause I'm just like, you know what? I am not going to answer. I'm just, you know, here, you know, having a good time. And then my phone starts going off again, over and over again. I think I probably like try to ignore it like twice, but it kept ringing and ringing and ringing until I finally, I was like, oh my God, hold on. And <sighs> sure enough, it's my fucking friend, Vicky Cristina Barcelona, just like blowing up my phone. And I'm just like, oh my God, what does she want? You know? So I answer my phone and she starts going off on me. She's like, bitch, why are you answering your phone? Like I'm over here, you know, trying to call you and all this stuff and you're just not, not answering your phone. Like, oh my God, you can't believe what happened to me. Like I need to talk to you. And I'm just like, dude, what do you want? And she's just over here, just, you know, just telling me that, you know, the friends that, you know, uh, she went out with, that we all went out with, you know, got into this big old drama and all that stuff. And that her man is just being stupid, but that he's picking her up right now. So she's like gonna go back to his house and they're gonna talk. And she starts spilling me this whole story as if I just wasn't, you know, you know, doing it with mine. 
right now. Mind you, sorry, a little TMI. Mind you, this guy is still kind of like, <laughs> Never mind. I'm not gonna say it. I'm just like kind of telling her like, well, dude, I don't know. Like, you know, who cares? Like, let him be like, you know, if you're gonna talk to him, let him know what, how, you know, what's the deal? What's his deal is and that's it. I was just trying to keep it like as short as I can because I'm like still in the mood. I really don't feel like talking to her. I'm over here trying to get it in with my man. And she just does not want to like shut up. She still is like on and on and on. And I'm just like thinking, oh my God. <laughs> shut up, dude. My boyfriend's getting frustrated and I'm just like, fuck, dude, I better cut this really short. Okay, so in the end, so I told her straight up, I was like, okay, dude, like, I'm, well, I mean, I don't know what to tell you, like, just whatever, see what he says, and, um, and yeah, just, if anything, just call me, um, but I have to let you go, okay? And she's like, why? What are you doing? And I'm just like, I have to go, dude. I'm sorry. Like, well, what are you doing that you can't talk to me? And I'm like, straight up, I'm like, girl, I'm like trying to have sex with my man. What do you want? She's like, oh my God, I'm so sorry. Well, all right, I'll, I'll let you go. Call me when you're all done. And I'm just like, yeah, bitch, I'm not going to call you. <laughs> After I hang up with her, obviously, you know, we finished what we were doing. And I believe, I think we ended up going to bed like around 3, 30, almost 4 in the morning. Um... Kind of, because I think, he, wait, he was actually supposed to go to work at six. So we ended up going crashing out probably like around like almost four in the morning. And um, he quickly like kind of just like sneaks me out of the house. And um, we get back to his, we get into his car and he like, you know, drops me off back home. So the Monday that we returned back to school, um, I meet up with my friend Vicky Cristina Barcelona and we just kind of just start talking about, you know, how that night went and all that stuff. So we ended up talking about like how that night went and all that stuff. You know what? Never mind. I don't like this lipstick. Let me, let me change it real quick. Hold on. Okay, cool. <laughs> Much better. <laughs> so yeah, I just end up telling her like, girl, I'm over here trying to get in with my man and you're over here just blowing up my phone. Like, even till this day, I still like press her like on the time that she like kept calling me while I was like in the middle of sex. Like, what do you want? What do you want? And it's just, it's just been like a running joke. It's really funny. <laughs> Bam, we got our look done. How do we feel? Like in all honesty, it's been a while since I've used this palette and honestly, really like it um so that is the end of the video you guys let me know what you guys think in the comments below of today's story time like is it crazy like it was a ratchet mess i think mostly on my friend's behalf but even more on my mess too um my relationship at that time with that person was a very toxic relationship and i do not wish that on anybody yeah that that's basically the end of story time <laughs> again let me know what you guys think uh, in the comments below today's story time as well as let me know what you guys think of today's look like are we here for it are we here for the lip are we here for the face are we here for the eyes let me know everything in the comments below before i let you guys go make sure you guys hit that subscribe button that's also right here and go ahead and be part of the tribe fam so let's make sure you guys hit that like and share button so that way we can you know uh share my videos so we can bring in more people so we can all be the hot mess community the little messies okay there's nothing wrong with being a messy okay this is a very welcoming channel where there's no judgments and just all love all love <laughs> anyways you guys that is pretty much it Thank you so much for watching and I will catch you guys in the next video. <laughs> Bye.